Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Peanuts and Peppers Paper Crafting. Today I'm going to show you how to create a card box that will hold Stampin' Up, Whisper White, or Very Vanilla note cards and envelopes. This is the box that I created to go with a thank you card set that I created with the Peaceful Poppy Suite and the Stampin' Up Mini Catalog 2020. This is the box. And then here's my set of note cards. This is the first one. The second one. The third one. And finally, the last. I also use the Peaceful Poppies Designer Series paper to decorate the envelopes. You can find this suite on page 24 and 25. And in this suite, you have the Painted Poppies Bundle. This is the stamp set. And this is a coordinating die set. These are part of the elements that I used on my note card set. And then also the Peaceful Moments Bundle. This is the stamp set. And then here are the coordinating dies. This is the Peaceful Poppies Designer Series paper, and it's full of beautiful patterns. I chose this first one for my project. And also, the Peaceful Poppies Elements. And this, what, this is what made my note card set very quick and easy to assemble. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is seven and three fourths by 11. And then you're going to score this on both sides at one and a fourth. Okay, I hope you can see the score lines. Then, you're going to turn it. You're going to score it at three and three fourths, five, eight and three fourths, and ten. That's all the measurements. All right, next I'm going to take my bone folder and fold on all of these score lines. Next, what we want to do is cut the side tabs. So, I'm going to cut on this line and this line. This tab and this tab. Then I'm going to repeat on the other side. All right, and you can see that this is quickly going to fold up into our card box. Now, what we wanna do at the top, this is going to be the box top. We're gonna to cut these two tabs off. We don't need those. All right, now, before I add adhesive to this, I want to go ahead and add my designer series paper. So this is the top, 
And what I'm using is a piece of basic black that's three fourths by five. And then again, a piece of that Peaceful Poppy Designer Series paper. This is one half by four and three fourths. Now, this piece is going to be the bottom. So we're gonna add a piece of basic black. And this is five by three and a half. And then another piece of the Pe Peaceful Poppy Designer Series paper. This is four and three fourths by three and a fourth. Alright, now we're ready to assemble our box. Alright, we're going to add adhesive to these two sides. And I'm just using some tearing tape. this off okay and then what we're gonna do is just it's gonna fold in So, okay, and then you're going to line up the edges. So we got one side of the box. Now we're going to repeat on the other side. Again, line up those edges. And now we have our box. Now for these end tabs to go in a little bit more smoother, I'm just going to angle the edges off here. And here, then I'm going to repeat on the other side. Your box will close like so. Now you can do one or two things. You can add Velcro here to make a closure, or in my case, I use Whisper White Baker's twine to tie it shut. And you notice that with this box, I can take these note cards and they will fit inside, just like that. All right, the last thing we wanna do is just decorate the front. So what I've done is I've made a little focal point. Okay, this is with the painted label dies. And I've cut one in basic black and one in whisper white. And then I've taken the sentiment from the Peaceful Moment stamp set, thinking of you with all my heart and stamped it in Poppy Parade ink. All right, I'm just gonna add some adhesive and add it to the front. Okay. 
And then I've also taken another one of the elements from the Peaceful Poppy Elements. And I'm just gonna take some dimensionals piece of Whisper White Baker's Twine. And hopefully I will be able to tie this on video. I'm just gonna wrap this around the box. straight and then sometimes it takes a minute. Ah, I see why. My twine has a little bit of a buckle in it. All right, here we go. Gonna wrap it around and I'm tying this off camera it's harder for me to do it and then I'm just gonna tie it okay there's my bow all right, and then what I want to do is add some Champagne Basic Rhinestone Jewels. These are also in the Stampin' Up! Mini Catalog 2020. And there you have it. A nice little card box that will match the Whisper White note cards and this makes a wonderful 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 gift I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for stopping by Happy stamping.